stay in denial about. Now, how are they able to do this? How are they able to? How are they able to? How are they able to do it? How are they able to come up out of this from underground and do it? Or do they have? There are tunneling systems everywhere. They are being helped by the Greys, and also there are groups within the higher echelon that are actually helping them acquire this. So human beings are abducting the kids and giving them to the Greys who in turn give them to the Alpha Draconians? That's right. That's part of the deal. They won't come up as long as we feed them down there. You understand it's about human beings selling themselves out. The echelon attitude here, the needs of the few outweigh the needs of humanity. And sorry, that just isn't right. You know, but it's going to have to be humanity that's going to rise up and take the stand. You're just going to have to turn off your televisions. They're going to have to get in their car. They're going to have to fire everybody in Washington, D.C. that knows and does nothing. And they're going to have to do something. You know, this apathy's got to end. Otherwise, the way we live is going to end. Period. I mean, that's the bottom line. You know, and I'm not coming from a fear space. I'm really quite angry about the apathy and the fact that, you know, when people give lectures and try to tell this, people want to stand up and fight with them. Look at what's happening around us. The indications are everywhere. Everywhere. The truth is now an obscure thing. You know, the lie is the norm. There's something wrong here. What's wrong with this picture? Sorry, I'm getting crazy. No, you're not. You're, you're expressing... Frustration, I think. Hi. Uh, why are the why? Aside from the carnivorous aspect to the Alpha Draconians, why else are they dangerous to humanity? Because they don't like us. And what are they willing to do with humanity? Eat us. There's no need for us. I mean, look look at where we are. Look at us right now as a civilization, as a society, okay? They don't need anything. They have all this technology that they want. We can't really offer them except maybe work, do some work for them. But they don't need all of us to work for them. They don't respect human life in any way whatsoever. Um, and this goes back to Lyra, to where the original war started. Um, they, when they got to Lyra originally, they saw this, this human race that was plentiful in food, that could grow food, that could do all of these agricultural things. And mankind on a whole is really agricultural. We're really, we really, as a race, if we were left alone, would be nurturing the earth. We were living in tribal communities like the Native American Indians did. Um, you know, that's really, that's really our, our essence, our nature, I'm sorry. That's really our nature, our essence. And, um, you know, the cities and, and, and the culture that we're living in now has totally cut us off from the land, from who, what our real essence is, which is nature. And, um, I, you know, we're starting to feed off each other now. Um, I, it's, it's like so bizarre. You know, I can't, it's like when I see the Andromedans or, or when I've been exposed to the Pleiadians, when I see how they, lo they live and, and, and they teach and they, they live with each other and they respect each other, and I come here. It's like, you know, it reminds me of that sentence that, that Abraham Lincoln, that, that quote that Abraham Lincoln once said. You know, when I'm, when I'm, if you are above the earth looking down, you could be an atheist. But when I'm on the earth looking up and seeing the heavens, I, I know there's a God. It's like the duality. And I think enough of us, more of us, really needs, need to start taking the perspective that what we're doing here isn't right. Um... You know, we, we, we need to get in touch with, with what's out there, um, with just the, the whole idea that, God, how did we get here? What makes me be here? You know, as opposed to going home after work, turning on TV, watching three hours of television, going to bed, getting up the next morning, going to work, and doing the same thing over and over and over and over again, like robots. Throw the televisions away. Just throw them away. Okay, uh, what are the physical characteristics of the Alpha Draconians? What do they look like? Uh, do we? I don't have that. Maybe it's in the car. <laughs> um, they're ugly. I mean, they think we're ugly, too. You know, and I guess it's all a matter of perspective and belief system. In my belief system, and I'm only taking responsibility for me, they're ugly. They're anywhere from 7 to 22 feet tall. They can weigh up to 1,800 pounds.